Good afternoon and welcome back to where absolutely nothing happened. And if you believe that, it's a you're full of Jacques Merd. Uh, no, I'm not gonna explain it because if you don't know friends, then you don't know. Anyways, a little bit of a Youth Olympics catch up, and there's much of catch up because uh, there's only one medal over the weekend. And that was on the twentieth when Anthony Shelley won a silver in snowboard cross. The only medal so far after only two days, and I was on Saturday. <clears throat> also from a spotted on from a friend of mine from Turkey and I thought it was kind of neat to share. So Mohammed Bozdag of Turkey in the men's 1000 meters short track speed skating wins a silver. Turkey's first ever silver in a winter Olympics. That's not that's not a mix that's not part of a mixed team. <clears> the <throat> first they first individual one. So there you go. And 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 I'm not done yet. <clears throat> and the provincial play downs to decide who who's going to the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. And of note, and I spotted this from Devin Haru. Skylar Ackerman at 22 years old, is the youngest Saskatchewan Playdowns champion. She'll, represent, she'll be representing Saskatchewan at the Raw Scotties Tournament of Hearts. As I mentioned, the youngest, the youngest Saskatchewan champion at 22. It's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, I got my second flag that I ordered on Amazon today. Actually, it showed up yesterday. I didn't even bother to look it up. And one else I looked today, and there was, it was Saudi Arabia, who's hosting a, scheduled to host the 2034 World Cup. They're, only, they're the only bid. And I think, so yeah, Saturday I got Paraguay already. And now I wait for Morocco and Portugal. And then I'll be caught up. Caught up. See, I got a plan in mind. So that's dangerous. Very dangerous. Now, I don't know if it's a good idea to put Saudi Arabia. I suppose I thought the same thing of Qatar. In FIFA later, it may, may, yeah, that may not have been a good idea. Yeah, FIFA somehow likes to do things the hard way. A prime example is Qatar. I never really had a good team. Yeah, they just all the Qatari officials did just wave money in front of their faces. FIFA fell. Especially when the other place I was bidding against Qatar for this past Men's World Cup was the US. Who's got stadiums galore. I mean Levi Stadium in San Francisco, Soldier Field in Chicago. Like La he could use Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Texas has a few. SoFi Stadium in LA. And no, FIFA went the took the hard route. Qatar. Now for the upcoming twenty thirty games. Spain, Portugal, and who the hell was it? Spain, Portugal, and somebody else was. Yeah, Spain, Portugal, and Morocco were the main hosts and for 2030, and they picked Uruguay and Argentina and Paraguay to celebrate the 
as part of the 100th anniversary celebrations. The Uruguay makes sense because they were the first source in 1930. So, I don't know how they're going to do, I don't know how they're going to do that. I mean, they seem to have got to put Uruguay and Paraguay and Argentina in the separate groups and have them as one, play one home game. And then when they're in between games, they just send them back to... It'd be interesting how they're going to divvy that up. I think they might have 48 groups again. I'd like to see them put 12 groups of four instead of 16 groups of three. It would make, it would make a lot more sense doing that. That's just me, though. And again, what the hell do I know? Yeah, so, okay, so, no, oh, might as well just do the. Yesterday's final Jeopardy category was musical instruments. Yesterday's answer was a punning song title from Talking Heads is Sax and These Instruments. Question What are violins? Yeah, I never would have gotten that in a million years. Okay, a million and a half. Two million. Okay, that's as far as I'm going. Anyways, famous last words for 200. This Jeopardy category answer is Alpha's Greek letter opposite that. That means the last in a sequence. I think it's Omega. That's what I think it is. Isn't Omega the opposite of Alpha? First and last? Somebody needs to get that for Stop that flipping beeping. Bums up there. Anyways. Anyways. I don't know what else to add right now. So I guess that's it. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.